the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 349, Titus 1 to 3. Set up a leader. Paul preached for those who accepted the faith to be empowered by the grace of God and to be beneficiaries of faith and hope. First point, the representatives for the second generation of the gospel era were Timothy, Titus, and Luke. Paul wrote about ministry to his two sons in faith, Timothy and Titus. As he did to Timothy, Paul also referred to Titus as his son. Titus was a highly trusted co-worker of Paul's. While Paul could not go, he sent Titus. When Paul was locked in prison, he wrote to Titus in order to give him instructions. Second point, Paul told Titus to establish elders in all the areas of Crete. To Titus, who was going through a difficult situation in Crete, Paul wrote him a letter in order to encourage him to persevere and to continue spreading the gospel. The reason Paul sent Titus to the church in Crete was firstly because the area was a difficult place to minister. Secondly, Paul wanted Titus to establish elders in Crete. Thirdly, Titus was sent in order to protect Crete against false teachers. Paul asked Titus to stabilize the Crete church that was wavering due to false teachers. Third point, Paul advised Titus, who was a young leader of the second generation, to minister wisely with the authority given to him by God. Paul advised Titus to always minister and lead by example. Paul told him to proclaim the gospel with the authority given to him by God. Paul advised both Titus and Timothy to lead by example in their daily service to God and the church and to minister with their God-given authority. Fourth point, Paul taught Titus about the righteous attitude towards those who believed in the false gods. And Paul advised Timothy to be cautious of false teachers. He also advised Titus to always be cautious. The first thing Paul emphasized was the attitude the minister was to have towards those with the power. Paul was concerned due to the Roman Empire's policy at the time, which opened the possibility to conflict. The second thing Paul wrote regarded the attitude a minister was to have towards those without faith. Paul stressed that Paul and Titus themselves too did not have faith in the past, and that through God's grace they were renewed. The third thing was the attitude to have towards those who were into false teachings. Titus was not to speak for them, and he was not to argue with them. He was to try to convince them one or two times, and if they did not listen, he was to avoid them. Fifth point, Paul taught Titus to cooperate with his co-workers carefully and thoroughly. Paul now concluded his letter to Titus and wrote his final words. They were to cooperate with their co-workers carefully. In order to help Titus in Crete, Paul had sent Janus and Apollos. Paul wrote that he wanted to meet Titus in Nicopolis in order to discuss the future plans for spreading the gospel. Also, he planned to send either Artemis or Tychicus so that the Crete church would not be ministerless. Paul also asked him to send Janus and Apollos back to Rome, where he was as soon as possible during that time. Paul moreover asked Titus to supply his co-workers with what they needed. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tongdok app. 
The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.